Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we've tested all the premiums. Well, almost all the premiums. We've got the, the RB17, which we're working our way through to get. And also, there's the i260. Now, let's have a look at this in the hangar. And it's like, what? What's that Gaming Bear? Well, this is the special premium, which costs about 12,500 gold. It's really, really not a cheap beast. Now, what we've got, let's check out the... Uh, the LA-11 and compare it to the I-260. See what we've got with this bad boy. So, survivability. It's heavier. It's got 20 more hit points. Well, 20 more points you can work with. So that's quite nice. Then we've got the, uh, the guns. So what we're looking at. This has got 323 mils. This has got 223 mils and a 57 mil cannon. But... It up, ups the, uh, the, the armament for, from 380 up to 697. So three, 317 more with, with swapping out one for one. Absolutely brutal damage. Then let's have a look at the, uh, the airspeed. So airspeed, we jump from 362 to 436. It's quite a nice, quite a nice boost, a bit of extra speed. You, you lose a bit of rate of climb, so we're 59.4 compared to we're 55.2, so a little bit down, but you get a better dive speed of 950 compared to 800. And then we come to the maneuverability. So let's see. So 13.1, so the maneuverability is an issue compared to 9.2. Rate of roll, 180 degrees a second compared to 100 degrees a second, so it really has issues maneuvering. Controllability, they're both very similar, 84 compared to 80. So they're there or thereabouts, pretty good. This works, the LA works at 1400 meters, the I-260 works higher, it's more of an interceptor at 1800 meters. So I've got about 4, 400,000 credit and I think we need an upgrade. So what I'm running, I've got the standard equipment and this really needs a lightened airframe. So we're going to add that for 400,000 credits. The other equipment that we're running, first aid, manual fire extinguisher and control surface. We're not putting anything other special on. And we're going to take this for a run for the uh, the first game with this upgrade. And we'll see what this is like. See how that affects it on the uh, in the sky. So we've got a nice bit of uh, bit of speed. We've got a we've got an improved mobility up in the sky and we'll see exactly what we can do with this so pause crossed that it, it turns out really really good and we'll see just how good it is in comparison so bear with me okay we're getting in i just have to have a drink of them um, i got some soluble painkillers we'll see what this is like so starting off here at the spawn point let's go and assist the uh, the team okay thank you for letting me know so we'll see what we can do but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing just what this is like. Because I was just playing this and it uh, we had issues with the uh, the Emmy, the German jet fighter, which was ju was able to to basically pull loops around this and um, and just take it to pieces. If we got it in front of us, we could do a lot of damage, but we couldn't always keep it in front. So we'll see what this is like now with the uh, the improved reflexes, the the improved abilities so let's get up high get up as high as we can and get ready to assist the team look look how quickly it accelerates tier 8 jet fighter very nice boot very very nice but we're on our own I don't really want to go on my own so let's work in towards the center where there's two of it I can't believe we've got one of those teams again follow the lemming you all know those sorts of teams, don't you? So uh, we'll see how this goes. Look at this. We're getting up to almost 3,000 metres. Let's get in on him. Let's boost in, try and get some kills. There we go, 400, 420. It accelerates really quickly. ME410, you are my... Uh, let's try and get him first. He's gone. Okay, next. Let's try and get in on him bit of lead a 
Let the guns cool down a bit. Okay, I don't think we got him, but I think we assisted. Let's boost in on that one, try and come in with him. We've got, uh, let's try and get some fire on him. Spin round, just try and bring him back into our sights. Neat. Very, very nice. Let's go in. I was about to go and st uh, start taking out the uh, the anti-air, but uh, but we captured it before that happened, so that was nifty. Let's go over this way, try and help capture this zone. That's nice. So going going all right so far. The maneuverability seems good. Oh, we're we're bomb we're blasting this zone with a rocket already. Look at that. Ouch! That's going to leave a mark. Let's go in and try and take out some of these uh, anti-air. That's it. That's that gone. Let's try and circle round. Another anti-air over there. Let's get in on that bad boy. Stop them that being a problem for my buddies. That's it, that one's gone. And there's one more over there. Let's turn in on him. It's not bad at uh, ground attack. That's it. Last one gone. That's it. We've got it. Nice. Useful. Useful uh, to be able to do that. To just take out the uh, the anti air. Oh, there's a rocket coming in as well. Don't. It's ours. Where's he going? Is it still coming in? Don't bomb our own place, dude. <laughs> that, that's bad. So let's get up as high as we can and see what we can do. Oh, look at that. Rockets away. Let's see what we're facing. Let's get in behind these guys, up behind the Spitfire. Boost up to height and then come in to assist the F994D. Oh, we're c catching on him very quickly. Oh, what? I, he hit me with a rocket. Wow. Did you see them coming in? That one single rocket. That was really neat. Very unusual at that range to be killed by a rocket. Performance, 885. But it feels like it's doing better. Like going in, taking out the... The enemy is concentrating near the plant. Be extremely careful. Okay, thank you. Let's get into the next one. So... Let's go and help with the uh, the plant over here. Let's boost up high so we can always uh, always come down. That's it. Six seconds of boost. Is he trying to run? I think he's trying to run. Let's try and get ahead of him. It's that same guy who who killed me. You are mine, sunshine. Unless someone else kills him first. He's he's getting away. Ah, so he's he's got more even more acceleration than I have. Nice. So we'll try and get high and come in and uh, deal with them. Let's boost up. Let's see what we're facing. Bitfire 14. We should be able to take him. Let's try and turn in, so... Oh yes. He's not doing really well. Every, every time he appears, we keep taking him down. I, I think he's like, oh, that that blinking gaming bear. I may not have killed him on my own, but uh, we certainly helped. Let's get back up to uh, to altitude. Help over here. They're trying to take our factory. Air supremacy achieved. 
Ah, there he is, he's back. He wanted revenge, but uh, he started firing too early. Oh, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> 2,740 points. Let's see how what we did um, credit-wise. It, it doesn't seem like a lot of points, but it was a lot of fun to play. So you've got to balance how much fun you can have with how much you can make. 78,000 credits. I've been making probably on average 80 to, to 150,000. So this is about the, this is the lower side of things, but we won too quickly. Otherwise, I'd have been able to uh, to take out more of them, and that's that's one aspect of it uh, of, of showing that it's not a bad plane, that that you can help your team to win in a in a tier tier nine game, in a tier eight, so we can see what this is like. So, the I two sixty, but that's only one game. Do you want me to play another one, guys? Do you? I think I think you deserve it. What do you think? Okay, let's go and do it. Let's do another game. We'll see what this is like. See if we can boost up and get some more credits. See what we can do. See what the average of these two games are, credit-wise. So with how good the, the guns are on this, it's very good at ground attack. Even though it's a fighter, it says multi-roll, you can just get in, take out those anti-air to allow your team to get in and do the rest. So it's, it's, it's not just it being able to be a fighter. So it's as a as a fighter, there are probably better fighters. But as a multi-role, you can help your team win more often. And I, I think that's a Attention. You are entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Good okay. Luck. Thank you. I, I think that that's that in its own the the Oh look at that, that's gorgeous. Oh you don't want to be in front of that. And those engines. Yeah. So Looking at the versatility of this, it's not just about the points you do as a fighter, it's about what you can do as sort of a strike aircraft, really. So I'm going to head over to the, uh, over to the left and see what we can do, see, see where the team are going. Get ready for action. Let's get up high. Oh! <laughs> Someone's noticed me. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> We're getting capture this so we can always repair in this zone. So uh, do what we can do. Get as high as we can. Four and a half thousand meters. Very, very neat. Time to start heading down. Now, the XP-75, he's pulling ahead. So let's get in and take... There we go. First target. Let's get the guns on. See what we can do. Cool. We definitely help with that. Next guy's down there. Let's try and bring him... Bring the target on. Guns overheating. Oh, nice. Next. Oh, he's gone. Okay, next target. They've gone. Can we get any air defense? Or have we captured this already? We've captured it already. Cool. We're just too good. It's, it's happening too quickly. So... They're moving to the centre. Let's go and join them. Let's get high. 1,500 metres. I do love this boost. Let's get higher. Let's draw... I was trying to draw those guys out of the uh, of that zone. 2,000 metres. I love... I really love when... With this kicking in. There we go. Let's get in.
Yes. Okay, bit of anti-air. Now where are the rest? There we go. Let's get in on these guys. Our rocket has reached the target. Enemy objects damaged. He's about to cut. There we go. Coming into into view. Let's try and chase him. He's got more speed. Oh yeah, teamwork. Next target. We've got three three of our guys onto him. Oh, he's gone. Cool. And let's boost back up. Ah, oh, this is so versatile. Really, really nice. It, it feels like it's worth the money. You know, it is a lot of... You can't use money. You've got to use gold. And, uh, well, this is really, really cool. Coming up to 2,000 metres, 2 kilometres. There we go. He's coming in below us. Let's boost in. Seafang. I do like that plane. Let's see what this is like up against a Seafang. Uh, First time I've encountered one in this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very nice. Not for him, but... Uh, <laughs> Let's get round. Who's next? Let's get in on him before... There we go. Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. That The cannon on the front of this is just blisteringly good. It really is. Let's push in, do some damage. Nine seconds of boost. See what we can do. This just... It just... It rock and rolls. It really does. On a number of different levels. Someone's in close. Let's boost out of this. Boost, boost, boost. No, no, no. Okay, it's not so good near ground level. Silly bear. I was just trying to do some extra stuff. Shucks. Okay, that's something to watch out for. Watch out for low level operations because it's not going to work. Silly bear. Ah. Oh. Let's go in on him. 3 1. Let's take him to pieces. Let's boost in. The enemy is the base. Take 2,000 meters. Definitely help with him. Someone over there. Let's see what we can do. I don't want to get low. <laughs> Stay up at the higher levels, around about uh, 1,800 meters or above, if possible. Don't go low, otherwise your your controllability is just pants. Let's see what we can find. Let's circle round. Okay, let's go in for him. He's trying to escape. Be advised, a line of thunderstorms is approaching. We'll soon be unable to provide support. Do you copy? Over. He's escaped. Well, not escaped, but he was. He, ooh. Oh, oh goodness! I was. I wanted to take him out. Shucks. Boost, boost, boost. Don't aim at the ground like that, Gaming Bear. Yak-15, very, very neat ground assault. Oh, couldn't quite bring the gun on. Stay alert, pilots. Large enemy force spotted over the airfield. Let's get to the airfield and help. There's no way to break the you now. You're on your own. Our points are up, but we could lose it, because if there's a problem, then... Um, Say we lose, we've got, we haven't got enough planes, enough pilots. We could still lose this. So let's try and get higher, and then come down on them. That's it. A six coming up. Let's try and deal with him. That's it, my friend. You keep going this way. You come into my sight. Let's boost in towards him now. Or you. Okay, 
Okay, it's... Ooh, that was... Oops. Sorry, that was a bit of a shock. I think I might have killed one of my own team, or he killed me. It was just a mid-air accident. Let's boost away. Let's go the opposite direction. He's going to be turning in towards me. If I can push in towards the airfield, try and gain a bit of uh, bit of speed, getting away from him, moving towards the airfield, help to hold the airfield, so we've got our anti-air, which can assist me. Let's try and take him out. I really don't want to lose the airfield. What have we got coming in? Yes. Let's boost. We need to be low to deal with him. Let's go round. Let's repair that. Come in round behind him. Yes, he's gone. Cool. That's keeping this area for us now. We've got some guys to deal with up there. Let's get high. We've just got the edge. It's a really close game. Really, really close game. Let's get round us. Come and help my buddy. I'm going to be in trouble. Let's fix him quick. Oh no! Against a zero or against the Japanese, it really had no chance of um, of 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 out dogfighting him. Ah, oh, so close. Still did 6,000 uh, experience. Let's see what we did credit-wise. Ah, oh, that was so close. I, I, I wish there was more that I could have done. But it was a lot of fun. It really was. <laughs> so let's see. How many credits did we earn from that? 225 up there. 146,000. So you're looking 220 thousand from two games so if you if you look on average about a hundred and ten thousand credits per game a week not too bad i don't think it's it's a very nice credit earner and really good fun to play it's an unusual one for a russian it's not so good in dogfights so i'd say yes the addition of the lightweight airframe was really good but we need even more so I'd say the controlled surface adjustment 3 would really help. That'll be the next one. Get that in to assist. You might even need top end as well. Top end seems to be an issue. So more controllability to give you dogfighting ability to the max and the aircraft polish to help with additional speed for hunting down the enemy. But the I-260, is it worth about £38? Let's have a look at the uh, the premium shop, see what else you get for this sort of money. Let me just call that up. Okay, so, for the same sort of money, planes, how good are they? Well, the, J the J8M is pants. The LA-11, very, very good. The ME-109, very good. But this is very good fun. So let's close that down it looks epic it does a lot of damage and it's just so cool and it's a proper Russian jet fighter
that you, that's not on the uh, on the tech tree, and it earns a huge, absolutely huge amount of credit. So this, I would say, is very good for for training your your crew, helping them to get the experience, and you, you're getting a lot of experience in the background. Or I would be if I was hadn't uh, just started it uh, crew acceleration. So. Um, it's really, really nice. The 110,000 average credits per game is really nice. I just love the sleekness. I, I really like how this looks. And for me, it's just really nice. It's, it's nice to have a change. If you want more dogfighting, then I've got the LA-11. But for, for what this can do with getting in and just blowing the whatevers out of people with these huge guns, with these huge cannons. So let's look at the uh, the guns on this. Let's look at the specs. So, what you've got, guns-wise, you've got three 23mm cannons, which is poxy, absolutely poxy. It works, but it's poxy. Looking at the front of this, two 27s down here, and this absolutely, sorry, two 23s, and this absolutely wonderful 57mm cannon. You know, what is not to like. And it's a lot of fun. They are both good. If if you prefer your dogfights and you want to be doing more dogfights, get get the LA-11. And if you want to get a higher level, chasing people down, more of an interceptor, working with people, I would say that this would work really well as part of a, um, a flight. Say two or three of you in, one or two of you with uh, LA-11s or the equivalent, and one person in the uh, in the 260 to prevent people from getting around the back of this, and then you can cover each other's weaknesses. This can chase down the uh, the planes that can get away, and the chain the planes that can get around behind this, the other guys in the LA-11s can take out, and I think that would work really really well. Looking at the next level, because I want to to do more of the uh, the competitive side. And so I'm looking for more of you guys to work with me to uh, to help with that. So send me a message and we'll do more platooning. We'll get together. We'll work on this. I want to put, put a, a team together because I, I can see this being a, an ESL sport. And I, I want to get some of you guys with me at the top level having a lot of fun just blowing people out of the sky. If you're up for it, message me. But back to the uh, the I-260, it just rocks. It rocks in a different way to the L LA-11, and I hope you like it, because I certainly do, and it's, it's really good fun playing it, especially when you're kicking those engines in, and you can see the afterburners just kicking in, and it's just like, oh my goodness. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. I'm the Gaming Bear, and this has been the, uh, the I-260. See you in the skies. See you guys. Bye.